as the Hawaii A&M Dolphins packed their bag for their next game against Arizona State, the team was buzzing with excitement and nerves. They knew that they were up against one of the best teams in the nation and that their chances of winning were slim. Despite any preparation, the Dolphins knew that they were facing a formidable opponent. Arizona State had just beaten USC, one of the top teams in the country, and they were playing at home in front of a bigger crowd than that of Charlotte. The odds were stacked against the Dolphins, and they knew that they would have to play the game of their lives to have any chance of winning. However, the Dolphins were filled with a quiet confidence. They knew that they were the underdogs, but they also knew that they had nothing to lose. The pressure was on Arizona State, not them. And if anything, it'd get them prepared for the first ever Aloha Bowl, which was the following week. Coach Pio began, I know that we're facing a tough opponent this week, but I also know that we have what it takes to win this game. We've trained hard for this and we've faced adversity before. We can do this. The players looked at each other unsure. They thought he might've just been gassing them up just to get stomped. But Coach Misa wasn't done yet. I'm not going to lie to you. This won't be easy, but if we go out there and give it our all, we'll have no regrets. And when we come back home next week, will be ready for the biggest game of our season. The team began to nod, some of them even smiling. They knew that Coach Pio was right. They had to give it their all, even if the odds were against them. They had to show their mental toughness and resilience both on and off the field. I'm pretty surprised we outscore Arizona State. Just like Charlotte, these guys run it a lot too. Definitely not great for us. We've struggled all season on the ground. It's been an odd season for the Sun Devils. Started off with FCS, losses to both Wisconsin and Stanford, but then come out and beat USC? Who would have predicted that? It's about time we started scouting Hawaii too. They did beat Nevada, which is pretty nice. We definitely won't underestimate them regardless of their record, that's for sure. We'll have to keep tabs on these two upcoming conference games. And here's a fun little stat. Not sure if we just overperformed or everybody else had a bye week, but Mikey's up to second in the nation. Incredible. I'm so proud of him. Only 40 yards off of first two. We have seven more recruits ready for visits, including Josh Brown. We already have five players visiting for the Aloha Bowl. So let's go ahead and make it 12. I don't normally put all my eggs in one basket, but come on. The atmosphere, the fans, if anything's gonna get these guys to sign, it'll be the Aloha Bowl. And just like that, we steal the lead from Oregon. They're dropping off a fair bit here. We gotta keep the pressure on. Any week now, Oregon might take notice. So for now, let's fly under the radar and stay aggressive. And speaking of stats, Diablo is leading the kick returners by 380 yards. UCLA's Casimir Allen does have the edge in average, but nobody's touching Diablo in touchdowns this far in the season. I thought maybe we would have had a player of the week award, but I guess our success is all on special teams. Who do you think is going to be the first player in school history to win a Mountain West player of the week? Detective Bot reckons gold helmet, black jersey, and gold pants. Looks pretty sick. I'm happy with that. All right, boys, don't overthink. Let's play our game and good luck us. Two of Arizona State centers are out and their cornerback is out with a dislocated knee. Interesting. I mean, this is still a very scary matchup though, Sun Devil Stadium. Nobody expects us to win this game, so hopefully we again can fly under the radar. If they underestimate us, that'll be their downfall, I guarantee it. And we're gonna win the toss. No, we're not. Was it just me or did that look like the tail side? <laughs> Obviously, I don't know what I'm talking about. We got the red cleats on as well. Diablo starting off early. Come on, Mikey, we need a big game before the Aloha Bowl. We do have Tamarion Butler in motion. I mean, maybe they think this is a run. Not exactly sure. I just, I wanted to take Tamarion. So far, so good. We do start off with a completion that is bigger than you think. Okay, blocking was decent there. Could have been a bit better. I don't know, at this rate, we might change from the Hawaii A&M Dolphins to the Hawaii A&M three and outs because this is a, a theme almost now. Oh, there we go. Forget the three and out. Metzger, we knew that we were gonna go to him on those third and shorts. Clearly Arizona State did not scout. Oh, no way, Pio's out on the field. The Aloha Bowl is next week and we're starting the game off with an injury. You've gotta be jocking Machar. Ridiculous. 
Gotta let it fly, Smoke Hawkins. This spin move got two. Wow, that was a nice play. I really hope that injury isn't a severe one because that is a monstrous loss for us. Heading into next week. Gotta take that. So later for 10. All right, so not bad. So far, Mikey Wayne, four from four, 46 yards. I mean, this is the best start we've had in a very long time. Okay, so later. There we go. Blocking was nice. Okay, so you know that we like to try different plays here on the channel. Let's see how this is going to go. I've never tried this play before. Hand off. Wait, it was a flea flicker. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Wow, so third and eight. At least it doesn't wreck Mikey's stats on the day. That's a plus, right? So we got to think we're just going for eight yards here. Let's get another in route with Austin Lowe. Okay, they're blitzing. Austin, it gets batted out. Oh, that is so unfortunate. That was such a good drive. Coach wants to go for it. Okay, P.O., I see you, bro. This is the kind of aggressive mentality I signed up for. I like that we're not just bending the knee right now. There we go. Oh, that's got to be a first. It is. Smoke Hawkins with the first down. I'm so glad that even though we kind of screwed up that drive towards the end. <gasps> Metzka! Hit point of three weeks of Metzka does not get to play in the Aloha Bowl. Wow, that is a big loss. Bro, what even is a hit pointer? If you've ever had a hit pointer, let me know down in the comment section. How long did it take you to recover from? Because that's a little bit ridiculous. That's a dot that we're in! Over the top, Richard Lafayette! That is a dot, they did not expect that. I thought maybe he didn't get in there, but he definitely did. He just kind of fell out towards the end of it. Okay, so UCLA gonna upset Utah on the road. Therefore, I know Utah was ranked fourth as well. We can't get too distracted though. We're trying to beat Arizona State here. We couldn't have asked for a better start. We know they like to run it. It's not gonna be a run in the first play. And he's going to throw it away. This is good. If we can get in their head early, then that's a really good sign. I don't know if this quarterback takes off, though. That's the only thing. Okay, it's a run. Oh, that's a stiff arm. Mon Montgomery didn't even go for the tackle. Please get this guy down. What a run by Valade. Wow. So if that's how they're going to run the ball, then I'm a little bit worried. Not going to lie to you. I mean... <laughs> When you get that many yards on your first run, it's warranted. I tried to trip him over, Hudson. <gasps> oh, what? Come on, man. Somebody had a chance at a pick there. I thought it might have been Diablo, but no, that was, again, John Michael Montgomery. He had a pretty easy shot at that, just didn't really put his hands up for it. Kahoot. Oh, no way. Still going to be dropped. So here we go. Third and one. I want to be aggressive. Just like on offense. So we're going to send the blitz. I know it's a run. Okay, it's not a run. <laughs> it is confirming it is not a run. I mean, is it just me or does it feel like Arizona State pretty much already scored by getting this close? And it is a dot. Well, I mean, to be expected, Arizona State going to tie this game up. Okay, do you reckon smoke can catch him out here? Where there's smoke, there's fire. You never know. Got to get out of the pocket here. Come on, Salada. He can't cut off. I just knew that Mikey Wang's strong suit wasn't the deep ball. So I kind of figured maybe getting out of the pocket right in front of him might have helped him out there. But okay, that's another dot. A leaker this time. Way to step up. Woo. All right, these drives, I mean, this is the third drive of the game, our second, and we're already nearly out of the first quarter. Like, we are definitely taking our time today. I wouldn't normally run it twice in a row, but I'm hoping that Arizona State thinks the same thing. Ooh. Never mind. Thought I wanted to run it, but two stars blitzing off the outside. Yeah, that's a no-go for me, bro. <laughs> Good catch by Salida. All right, so it goes without saying, we do need a bit of a first down here. Uh, can we run this? Yeah, let's run it. I trust Salida. I actually do. And he provides, there you go. Six yards, Salida stepped up big time today. And that's the thing. If we show that we have confidence in Salida, like clearly that is paying off. I don't know about you guys, but ever since we 
started, you know, despite what he does. I mean, that's a dot right there. Draven Alika nearly gets away. Wow, that was close. A lot of people are stepping up today. Clearly, Pio's message of the pressure's on them, not us, really got through to the team today. Right across, oh wow, that was close. I can deal with a drop pass, just interceptions are what kills this team. No word of a lie. Is that double coverage on Draven Alika? You're jarking. Not double coverage. Tamarion gonna step up there. Gonna make up for it with a catch. And here we go again, third and two. I do not care how long these drives take. I am taking my damn time. All right, and that's all there is to it. Good blocking, good blocking, good blocking. Salada, eight yards. This is his best game by far. Already up to 27 yards just at the start of the second quarter. I mean, you gotta feed him. There's no reason not to feed Salada right now. With the way that he's playing, he trucks one. Number 34 got more than he bargained for on that play. Just wow. I'm getting some mad Adrian Peterson MVP season kind of vibes right now. The way that he's running strong to marry on to finish the job. That is two drives and two touchdowns for the Dolphins. Who would have guessed we'd even have a chance in this game? So it looks like the loss of Metzka is really getting to the offense. For the first time in this dynasty, the offense is playing better than the defense. Now, I understand the defense has only had one drive, but we've never scored on the first two drives before. Just want to point that out. Never. Montgomery, big tackle. Way to make up for that mistake earlier. Third and inches. If we could cause a three and out here, I mean, wow. The fans back home would be going crazy. I'm on top of just in case. I'm through. It's gonna be a sack. Drop of six by Toto. You can't ask for more than that. Fourth down. It's a capacity crowd today, fellas. People knew, man. Upset City is Hawaii A&M. I will take that title with great pride because we upset Clemson. I mean, it's in the past, but it happened. And then Arizona State, who just beat USC. I mean, I know I'm getting ahead of myself here. Salada! Ooh! When your running back is playing this well, there's no reason not to go back to him. It doesn't bother me how much Mikey Wing passes the ball here. We're winning this game, one way or another. Salada fighting, though. Look at that. Okay, we will switch it up just for a second here. We take that to Marion. That's a guaranteed first. And this is what I've kind of been meaning by taking it slow, you know? Like, I get it's not the most exciting when our drives take majority of the quarters time of possession blah 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 but this is efficient football more importantly right now nobody in this game can stop salada apart from that guy <laughs> that's number 34 it's the guy he trucked all right it is a third and seven we are five from six today though so extremely efficient we're doing a lot better than what we were doing Take it short, a leaker again. Gonna get us the first down. So you gotta think, a leaker never really gets that much play time. He is out there, but when Metzger's out there, a leaker isn't. And now that Metzger is gone, a leaker is put in a position where he has to step up. Even Tamarion's getting blocks. In what universe is Tamarion Butler getting big time blocks on big time drives? I mean, come on. We're definitely gonna go into half lead in here. Again, number 34's got our number. Salada dropped for a loss. He's angry. Yeah, Kyle Sowell, he's uh, pretty annoyed at Salada for that embarrassing truck earlier, so it looks like he's got his number. Okay, we're gonna take that. Oh no. Wow, that's a bad drop by Alika. Fourth and six, and coach is gonna say go for it. This is giving me Lamar Jackson, Baltimore Raven vibes. If you wanna go for it, let's go for it. Fit that in the gap! Melo, the backup and punt returner, gets us another first. Man, I don't know what to say. When we play to have fun, when we play with no pressure, it almost seems easy. You know what I mean? Okay, Alika got him. Step back. No, the step back's not going to get it. That's fine, though. We're on the one. We run out this clock and go in a half up two possessions. For some reason, Arizona State not going to stack the box like they know we're going to run it here. But for some reason, uh, I don't know what's going through their mind right now. Salada, easiest touchdown ever. 
and nobody expected us 21 to 7. You know the vibes? Just got to protect deep. There's the throw. Wow, that is a good throw. He's got the power. He caught that. No way. No touchdown though for Brian Thompson. So at halftime, Hawaii AM up 21 to 7 on the road against Arizona State. It goes without saying, we are dominating them in terms of time of possession, but we're just taking our time and it seems to be working. We're kind of suffocating them. We're leading in pass yards, not on rush yards, but you have to understand this Dolphins team doesn't really block well for the run. The fact that we have 54 yards at halftime and majority of those yards are Salators says a lot about how we've stepped up today. Regardless of how good the first half was, we still have another half to play. And unfortunately, we're starting out on defense, boys. You know the team's come out in the second half on fire, so let's see if we can suppress that here. Okay, it's a toss. Montgomery, great tackle. Not going to be a TFL, but it's a zero-yard rush. My apologies, that was Kahoo on the tackle. Montgomery with the assist. It's fine. Doesn't matter who gets it. We're going to blitz. I'm trusting Kahoo here. Kahoo through the gap. Oh, man. Still going to be a good tackle by Montgomery. That is third and three. So Montgomery with two tackles in two plays. Clearly that message in the first quarter sunk in with him. Amon's out here. Oh, that was a good block, but a better tackle. No way, no first down. Strong safety Alec Amon sheds the block and makes a Sean Taylor-esque tackle right there. To be blunt, there's few animations in this game where you're able to send them back almost. And we got one of them right there with Alec Amon. Way, the awareness on that play was ridiculous. Melo, not bad, good return. So I'm guessing at this point, I understand pretty well that the run is coming. And there's nothing you can do about it. Damn, Butler got popped. He kind of got sent back. I mean, he's a big guy, but he's a bit of a teddy bear, isn't he? He just gets popped every play. All right, third and five. What are the vibes, boys? Alika, we got low. Hawkins, I'm just going to send Hawkins deep here. Because I don't know if they've got anybody deep. Nah, just go short. Nice and short. There we go. Alika again with another first down. And so far, Mikey Wang, 18 from 22. 160 yards, so the yard count isn't that crazy, but... Okay, Austin low again, wide open. And we're going to stiff arm our way to about the 22. We haven't really used Austin Lowe today, but good to see that he's going to get his touches regardless. Great stiff arm. All right, Hawkins short. Alika long. Let's take it to Smoke. He's going to drop it. That is again that safety, my goodness. I think his name was Kyle Sowell, I believe. I'm not sure. But he is, man, ever since he got trucked in the first quarter, that guy has been a man on a mission. My goodness, let me tell you what. There goes a sack. I tried to let it go to triangle there. It didn't let me do it. I mean, we knew that it was going to get through eventually. Hopefully, we can get enough yards here so we can go for it on fourth down. That's my goal, at least. Oh, that's the wrong man. That is the wrong man. Please make the tackle. Thank you. He fumbled it. Oh, what? Dude, I'm sorry, Mikey. That was genuinely my bad. X was a wide open Austin Lowe. I tried to hit him right on this cut right here, as you can tell, but uh, I hit the wrong button. That's going to be a pick. Man, I've been telling the players too much about no mistake football to the point where I go ahead and make the biggest mistake of the game. Golly, that's a bad one. Oh, man. At least we're still even on the day, despite the pick. Okay, got to get off the blocks here, boys. Montgomery can't make the tackle. We had so much momentum right up until that interception. Hopefully, it doesn't mess with the team too much. Good tackle. Could this be another three and out? They're one from three on third downs. Let me jump on Diablo. I'm there. No, I'm not. I make a mistake. I can't get there in time. Montgomery does not have the speed. I went for the interception, which meant I couldn't get the tackle animation when I turned around. So, funnily enough, though, Arizona State going to miss their PAT. <laughs> I mean, there's that. We're up by eight. Oh, do we get a block here? We do get a block, Diablo. Is he going to do it again? I don't think he will. The step back. 
I've never seen that before. It's almost like he got trucked on the step back. That was crazy. So we have gone away from the run quite a bit. Let's uh, re-establish that. We got nothing but time. Nothing but time. But we're only up by one possession now. I need that block. Uh, 2.9 average for Salator. It's definitely dropped off since the start of this second half. But you got to stay with it. Got to stay with it. Trust it. That's what got us this far to begin with. Back to the 10. So we're going to change his zig to an in route for Alika. And then a Kamu out on the corner. A Kamu's a name we haven't really seen. A Kamu step back. Oh my goodness, he's out of there. No way they're not going to catch him. He's in. That's going to tie a school record as well. A Kamu, there's always somebody. It's normally Smoke Jackson. Today, it is a Kamu. We are the most unpredictable team of all time. <laughs> it's only our first season. And it's just been incredible, Akamu, wow. That really shows the mental toughness of a team when one of their star players in Metzger goes out with injury and everybody else steps up. And I mean everybody else steps up. Even the defense. Is this again going to be a three and out for Arizona State? Could be a screenplay too, look at this. No screen, can I bait that? Oh, I see Raz! It's not the man we thought, but we get the pick! Raz out of nowhere again! Unbelievable job to stay in bounds here as well. He didn't get the return he wanted, but most people just go out there. Raz gonna stay in and get the pick. We don't care about the squiggly line cheese. We don't care about anything. Whatever they throw at us, we've met tenfold. Akamu again! Spin move, ooh! And I mean, Mikey Wang, he's also having an amazing day. So this is weird. This is like a play action. But it's also a screen play. One more quarter to go. Second and 18. I do want to run it here, but we'll try the pass. Get out the pocket, Mikey. Just take off, my dude. Take off and slide. Funnily enough, it always happens in the fourth quarter too. He won't scramble all game, but then randomly in the fourth quarter, he'll just take off. He'll just catch him off guard and take off. This is main coverage. Nobody's open. Mikey's going to have to take off again. Back-to-back -back plays. Doesn't even matter, though. We get the first. What is our record? I mean, we're 3-2 and two right now, but first Clemson. And, I mean, if we beat a team who just beat USC... Like, they got cocky, so later for six. And at least when we did versus Clemson, it was close right down to the end. A, a kick return won it for us. But here, I mean, we're just in control of this game, and we have been from our first drive and beyond. Fourth and two. No doubt about it, we are going to run a bit of this clock off, and we're going to take our three. We do want to be aggressive, but we don't want to be stupid. And right now, a three-possession lead is much more important then going for it on fourth down here. All right, so Arizona State, AKA three and out university. Gonna get another opportunity here to do something on offense. I'm gonna jump on, well, I was meant to be on Valende there. That's mine. No, it's not, I nearly had that. If I had just run that a little bit tighter, that would have been a pick. Probably a pick six, in fact. Let's jump on Diablo here. Okay, thought it might have been a screenplay. What are they doing? They know there's four and a half minutes left, right? Very questionable play uh, to run it there. I mean, I don't know what they were really doing. Let's jump on Kahoot. He's going to take off. He's getting desperate. Oh, he's desperate. That's going to count as a sack there too. Wow, you can tell when the pressure gets to these quarterbacks. And wow, he had people open there too. Don't think he didn't. Definitely had options. I'm locking that up. He's open across the middle. Unfortunate. Ah, come on. Oh, good hit. And here comes the hurry up. Okay. Let's see what you got. They're going to call motion. I mean, this is taking a long time if you wanted to be quick about it. And again, same play pretty much. I've just under three minutes to play now. You know why I'm on a Mon? The tight end coming out here too. He could be on a flat route for all we know too. 
Oh no, I didn't even realize he took off. I was too busy watching the running back. Wow, that was uh, really silly for me. I could have easily popped him and I didn't. So they are gonna go for two. No doubt in my mind that they are gonna pick this up. And crazier things have happened though. Motion again, they love their motion. And that's a dot, 31-21. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> I didn't realize that there was so little time left. Yes, okay. Let me respect Arizona State. All right, here comes a kick. Wow, that, whoa, okay, a llama. Nearly threw a gap there. I have never seen an onside kick be that short before. Like, I don't even think that was the 10 yards, but I don't know. Oh, Selena! He's going to get the school record in style. He broke his own record right there. And again, just look at this truck. It is a big get off me to the linebacker. He didn't want a bar of it. What a game. A broken record. He breaks his own record. Factually speaking, this is his best game. In more ways than one. Look at the opponent. That's a first. Another first down. As Arizona State going to call their timeout. Pio on the sideline reminding his players again. There's no pressure. You've done well today. There goes the blitz. That's a face mask. I mean, in all honesty, I'm just happy they caught it. Normally, when we get face masks, uh, in history, has proven that we don't get the call. We get the call right there. Step back. Wow. That's another flag. Is that another face mask? It didn't look. It is. Wow. Back to back. Isn't it funny last week that was us? That was the guy who we trucked. So in the first quarter, we hit that safety. And ever since that, he's been on Salida's ass. Just then, we trucked number 58, and 58 is going to give up a flag. So, emotions, without a doubt, getting the best of Arizona State right now, as they call another timeout. Salada has really painted a target on his back right now, but he doesn't care. At least he doesn't seem to care who comes after him. He's just going to do his thing. That's right through the gap. Not going to be a touchdown. There goes the last timeout. This is a setup run, so we are going to call hurry up after this. If we don't get in the end zone if we don't get in the end zone and we do 38 21 and that is another record for Salada. do you know what is so satisfying about this win the fact that diablo has not scored at all every time we've gotten a big win it's always seems to be at least diablo was a big part of it oh i thought that was the screenplay right there Okay, I didn't click on there intentionally. Way to overrun it. I mean, surely they know that this game is over, right? Like, surely they know they can't win this. Or am I tripping? Am I the only one? Okay, out route. Oh, okay. I don't know why they're spiking it either. Like, you might as well just run this in. Very silly. And the Dolphins already starting to celebrate. They know that they were the better team today. And without a doubt... Some people are going to start calling them Upset City, for sure, after this. Amon can't break through, and they're in. Doesn't even matter, still up by 10. I mean, from start to finish today, I have no complaints with the team. The only thing that I could possibly criticize was the interception, but like we know, that was quite literally my fault. That wasn't an inaccurate pass, it wasn't a bad throw. It was me clicking the wrong button. And uh, that is not Mikey Wang's problem, nor the receiver's problem. And this might very well be how Upset City was born. So later, I'm so proud he got player of the game. I'm so happy about that. I wanted him to get player of the game so bad, and he got it. So let's get a real look at what happened here. We went for it on fourth down twice, and we completed both of those fourth down conversions. On third downs, we beat our previous record of 70% by getting 71% today. We did have the one turnover, but that was the intercept that clearly wasn't anybody on the team's fault. So you can really scratch that, it doesn't really matter. Kick return was a little bit quiet today, but I'm happy we got a win without relying on Diablo. Time of possession surprisingly wasn't as one-sided as I thought. Whilst yes, we almost had double what Arizona State had, at least they did crack the 10 minute mark. The games aren't all that long. And the legends today, look at Mikey Wang. Two touchdowns, one pick, 77%, 255 yards. On the rushing and Salada, without a doubt, player of the game. I don't care what the game says. 71 yards, 2.6 average, two touchdowns. 
and he did that on the back of only having a longest run of eight. On the receiving end, a bit of a mixed bag today, Akamu stepping in for the injured Matthew Metzger. He actually led the team. He came on for an injury, saw his opportunity, and went for it. He, of course, was the step back cheese scorer of the day. Draven Alika, another guy who's really stepped up, only a freshman, a lot of pressure on his shoulders, being the number two man at receiver. But again, he also stepped up today. Austin Lowe was very quiet. Again, we didn't need to rely on our superstars today to get the job done. Austin Lowe or Diablo. Unfortunately, Metzger will be out for three weeks, will not be there for the Aloha Bowl. Our first bit of controversy of the season coming in this game. And defensively, what a job today. Kahoo leading the team, seven solo, eight total. A lot of TFLs on the day and quite a few sacks. Beef McGuinness was very quiet. There are a lot of players, including Damien Hudson, who were very quiet. Good to see that RC Raz, I mean, he doesn't really get that much screen time as it is. And he's a senior. So it was really good to see that he got his moment today in such a big way. He basically sealed the deal for us uh, and couldn't be more proud of him. Well, there you go, fellas. Next episode is going to be the Aloha Bowl. That is a massive game for us, as you know. And we're going to go in there as a 4-2 Hawaii A&M team with all the momentum in the world after knocking off Arizona State. We upset the team who upset USC. But yes, if you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your days are awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace. Sometimes I'm winning, can I breathe right underwater? Sometimes I'm winning, can I speak in outer space? Sometimes I'm winning, can I call upon a thunder?